Let's solve one previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in GATE CS 2020, question number 39. Which one of the following predicate formula is not logically valid? Note that W is a predicate formula without free occurrence of X. And four options are given. Let's check one by one which one is not logically valid. Option A, for all X, P of X or W, is logical equivalence to for all x p of x or w here this universal quantifier is applied for both p of x and w here universal quantifier is just for p x it's logically valid as w is not bounded it's free only p of x is bounded so we can write separately for all x p of x Universal quantifier is only applied for P of X, not for W. So, we can separate it. Both are logically equivalent. Next option B, there exist X, P of X and W is logical equivalent to there exist X, P of X and W. Here, there exist X is for both P of X and W. Here, it's only for P of X. W is not bounded. This P of X is bounded by this existential quantifier. So it is only applied for P X not for W. That's why we can separate. We can add existential quantifier only with P X. So option B is also logically valid. Next option C for all X P X implies W is logical equivalence to for all X P X implies W. Here this universal quantifier is applied for both, here only for P of X. Let's simplify this, we know P implies Q, that we can write as negation of P or Q. So this thing P X implies W, that we can write as negation of P of X or W. We can add this universal quantifier only with P of X as W is free. So for all x, negation of p of x or w. Now we can take this negation outside. So when this negation will go outside, this universal quantifier will change to existential. So now we'll get negation of there exist x, p of x or w. So this is equivalent to there exist x, p of x implies w. As negation of this whole part, let it P or Q, that we can write as P implies Q. So this whole thing we can write, there exist X, P of X implies W, which is not equivalent to the RHS. Here it's written universal quantifier, but we got existential quantifier. So we cannot add this universal quantifier only with the P of X. Next option D, there exist X, P of X implies W is logical equivalence to for all X, P of X implies W. Let's solve it. So there exist X, P, X implies W that we can write as there exist X negation of P, X or W. As P implies Q that we can write as negation of P or Q. Next, we can add this existential quantifier only with P of X as W is free, like option B. So, we can write there exist X negation of P X or W. Now, we can take this negation symbol outside. When we take negation symbol outside, this existential quantifier will change to universal. So, it will be negation of universal X P of X or W. This thing we can write for all x p of x implies w which is equivalent to our RHS. So you can say option D is logical valid. We found option A is logical valid, option B is logical valid, option D is logical valid while option C is not logical valid. Answer will be option C. For solving this question we use the logical equivalence like P implies Q is logical equivalence to negation P or Q. The negation of there exist X, P of X, that is equivalence to for all X, 
negation of p x then negation of for all x p of x that is logical equivalence to there exist x negation of p of x these two are de morgan's law for quantifier i already discussed predicate and quantifier just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye